right, so we're at SLC Comic Con again, and we are uh, talking to Bearded Leia, who goes to quite a few different conventions. I th I'm pretty sure we saw you at Denver Comic Con as well. You were there, yeah? That's correct, yeah. I'm from Denver, so I've, I've been frequenting Denver Comic Con since they started, yeah. We are at, actually from Colorado as well. We're oh, Loveland area, yes. Fort Collins. Right on. Would you mind giving us your actual name? Julius. We're, we're here kind of get, get your opinion, kind of get some advice. We know there are other people who are interested in cosplay, but they don't they don't see it as accessible. Um, or there's girls who don't see the option of, of doing something that's not overly sexualized. What kind of advice would you give to somebody in that position? Um, any advice I can give anybody who's just starting to do any kind of cosplaying um, is just do what you're comfortable with. You know, find a find a character that you love and a and, and a way that you can portray the character that makes you feel comfortable. Um, whether that means you know you don't have to you don't have to go out and be all crazy and make your own you know stuff right away. I mean that I feel personally I feel like when you start making stuff you you have a, a more of a bond with the costumes that you're making. Um, you have a more sense of pride, which makes you even better to, to, to wear it. And when people take pictures of you, you know, it's like, it feels good to say, hey, I made this, but even when you're starting out, I mean, I started out with just store-bought costumes, you know, I didn't have the time or the money to go and spend and, and to do these big elaborate things, so I had to start out using, you know, the cheaper costumes you find at costume stores and stuff like that, you get knickknacks here and there, um, making or using things that you find at thrift stores, things like that, um, but as far as like being comfortable in whatever it is, I mean, you can, you can adjust and you can change uh, characters to the way that it fits you, to where it makes you feel comfortable to wear it, wear it how you want. Uh, whether that means, you know, if the character that you love is normally scantily clad, uh, but you're just uncomfortable with that for whatever reason it may be, um, you can do you can adjust the costume and add add material to to make it to where you can still represent that that character that you love so much, and, and you can portray your version and be that character and still have fun doing it, and you don't have to worry about you know people being like, oh well, you know, you're not your costume's not not you know accurate and this and that i mean you'll always have people that are judging it but we do this we do this to make to, to to make ourselves smile and make ourselves feel great you know i mean i love doing this stuff i love star wars that you know i grew up with a crush on princess leia just like you know the majority of any young male star wars people even female star wars people they love it you know it's like we i it, it, it's something i've always loved and I, I, do whatever makes you happy. Yeah. So, do you only cross dress for cosplay, or do you do it in your personal life as well? Um, I actually started doing uh, cross dressing uh, mainly just for Halloween stuff. You know, it's, it's not something I do on a day to day um, thing, or even like going out for the weekends, kind of doing the cross dressing thing. Um, I'm not necessarily against it at all. I love being in women's clothes. I love I love I love the way it makes me feel. I love the way people react to it and with it when they love it it makes me feel good you know but it's mainly for cosplay but yeah I started out um, even before I started doing Leia um, I was doing cross like the cross dressing things for for Halloween and, and parties and co costume parties and things like that it was it's, it's always been so much fun so you mentioned it briefly just now but how would you say your general reception is when you come to an event like this or when people see you as slave layer or whatever how do people react um I get all kinds of reactions, and the majority of them are all generally really good. Um, I still, you, you get a lot of the, you get you get a, a people here and there that just they can't handle it. You know, they walk by, they see it, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, no! I don't even want to see this. Um, I don't want to have anything to do with it." You know, and that's just their comfortability level, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, personally, I see, I think the more that they see it out in public, and the more that it's the more that it becomes more open, and people do it. People are going to realize that, hey, you know, like, at first, yeah, this dude's over here wearing girls' clothes and he's half naked, but he's actually a pretty cool guy. He's really fun to talk to, you know, and I I try to be super nice to everybody. I love it. I mean, people, I'm here to have fun just like everybody else, and I just, you know, people, people get reactions um, as far as not liking it, liking it, and then people... Uh, no matter what, though, I usually end up taking pictures with them. They end up, you know, whether they like it or not, they're like, they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Uh, would you please take a picture with me, still? And I'm like, yep, of course, you know. And it's all about putting on the face and, and letting, making sure that they see that you're having fun and, you know, that stuff like that. And that, all that's going to do is break the comfortability level and, and, and open them up a little bit as well. So, do you think that we've come a long way as far as? Uh, gender representation and diversity in nerd culture? Do you think we still have a long ways to go or a little bit of both? Um, 
I, I think it is a little bit of both person. I mean, like, obviously, you know, um, we've come a long way just as a society in general, not even just in the nerd culture, but I mean, things like this are being more and more uh, out in the open and being accepted. Um, but so let's take the nerd culture here, for example. I mean, like, I, I, I feel like. Any, like we, we do we still have a, a long ways to go we have a long ways to go for for in, uh, for instance there's not many male cosplayers out here getting getting very uh, getting very much you know attention and things like this you know I met a few really awesome dudes that, at the last convention that I was at and I'm like man like why do we not have more of these guys getting these things you know they're they're working their butts off they're they're making these super super awesome costumes that are very elaborate and really cool but you know I mean at the same time when you're when you're thinking about it the fans I mean the majority of fans are are male you know young male dudes who they, they want to see their female characters you know I mean they'll have an appreciation for the male ones but who doesn't have a crush on on any female x-men character any female anything you know I mean like you grow up looking at these pictures comics cards whatever it is and you know they're hot they're gorgeous they're beautiful they're like you know and you get to see this portrayed in a person that you get to shake their hand and say hey yeah you're you're doing great making this costume it's just different when you're becoming a, a male character you know and stuff like that i mean you you have these halo guys you know walking out with these badass costumes walking around you know video games uh you know metal gear solid and nathan deluke is a guy that that i met at the last uh con i was that he's fantastic he does such a great job on his armors he may he makes um like you know body suits and things like that and he goes all out and does everything and he's so badass I would love to see more of him. Uh, Danquish is another one who I met last time, and he is awesome. He does Sub Zero, Scorpion, oh, nice. Danquish, he, uh, Vanquish. He does, you know, um, all of it. And there's so there's so many great great cosplayers out there doing this stuff, but people just want to see the women, you know. And do you yeah. think that that's detrimental? Like, I guess one thing that comes to mind is uh, the more scantily clad female cosplayers. Do you think that that sort of puts a negative connotation possibly on the um, on the idea of cosplaying and drawing attention away from uh, the other folks or or, or even like uh, further stereotypes in the culture right because there is a there is a big argument about women being unfairly portrayed or represented in comic and, books and overly objectified overly sexualized and do you think that that sort of works against that cause I don't think it works against it at all I think that the, the main difference is the fan base uh, more and more nowadays we're get we're starting to see female gamers and female th you know women that pop up that love comics and all this and that I mean you know like a lot of, a lot of the the female cod players are they're, they're nerds themselves you know but then the, the, the numbers are just obviously way more male way way more male oriented and I think that the more that women see this and they come they grow up realizing how cool it is to be into comics and games and all these things that we, that we all know and love, it, I think it'll start equaling out and, and, and doing that. And you know, I mean, girls are gonna come up and see a guy in a, in, a, in a video game costume or something like that of a character that they love, and they're like, "Yeah, this dude's a total honk. It's great. It's gonna come around. It's gonna be that way." You know, but it's just a slow going, and, and there's no there's no way to to really even it out. You know, I mean, the, 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 women women are beautiful. Women men are, men are attracted to women. Women are attracted to women, and like it's just you you have lots of love going around there. I don't think that. Um, the woman thing is uh, I don't really know how to put it I don't think that it's being that, that it's detrimental or anything like that I I know that there are people that say you know women female characters are portrayed you know very objectively and all this and that um, and I mean unfortunately if, if they don't like that that you know it sucks but that's what it, when it comes down to this was somebody's artwork and somebody's idea that came from their heart and soul and they put it out there and people liked it and it got big and this is what it is and if you don't like that I'm sorry you know but this is the way that it was made when they made it, you know? This is somebody's heart and soul that they put into something, you know? One way that I try to put it is, is uh, women and men have different attributes about their bodies that I think are more flattering. Mm -hmm. So, like, it is more flattering to see certain parts of a female that you wouldn't necessarily expect to see on a male and vice versa, you know? It's right. more... So uh, that, that, I, I get that, um, and that's that's great. But that's that's from a male. That's not only right. from a male point of view. That's from your point of view. Sure. Okay. So like, I feel like if there are people that think that women are objective, are are, are being objectified way too much, they what they need. I mean, get out and make your own comic of a of a, of a badass superhero. You know, yeah. a female superhero that 
is wearing all the tons of stuff. You know, yeah. I mean, do it. I mean, you can take a look at, you know, uh, Lady Deadpool's completely covered up. It's true. You know, I mean, yeah, she's still in a skin tight suit, but most superhero men are in skin tight suits. So you can, you can, the, it's there. You just yeah. have to go for it. And if, if I mean, yeah, I totally pe- agree. People, yeah. people, people are gonna like what they're gonna like, and that's. You know, if, if a female that's not wearing, a uh, female character that's not wearing a bunch of clothes is getting a bunch of hype and a bunch of attention, that's because that's what all these people are, are liking, you know? And I, I mean, people are going to like what they're going to like, you can't control that. No, I agree. Where can people find you and all that stuff? Um, yeah, please uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook at Bearded Leia on, on everything. Um, yeah, I guess all of that. Thanks, thanks everybody for the support, and I can't wait to meet everybody. I mean, if people want to meet me, please feel free to come up and say hi. I'm down to take pictures. Um, I'm selling prints and everything like that at the con right now. I, w- I do have um, an online store, Bearded Leia at BigCartel.com, and I sell my photo, my uh, cosplay photos on there. Um, and I'll be adding more and more as the time goes on, like get more photo shoots done. So, but yeah, thank you so much and, uh, for all the support and everything, and I love you guys.